And let me just read for you what Schefter says about the Harbaugh thing. You know, obviously they met. We had talked about that. Um, uh, uh, and um, Harbaugh reaffirmed his commitment to Michigan. The Broncos have moved on as well, continuing their discussions now with several other candidates. Denver has interviewed uh, Sean Payton, former Lions and Colts coach Jim Caldwell, David Shaw of Stanford, huh. Rams defensive coordinator Raheem Morris, Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, and D'Amico Ryans, the 49ers uh, defensive coordinator. Harbaugh, they said this about Harbaugh. This is from Schefter. Harbaugh has now met with the Vikings and Broncos in back-to-back years. While one source wondered how many more chances Harbaugh would get, another league source said the league is likely to be interested in Jim as long as he is successfully coaching. He has proven every level. Yeah. Uh, he He's proven at every level, including the NFL. That's a hard resume to match. So a lot of people believe the NFL has moved on after this uh, last uh, go-around. Others say, no, man. If you're a successful head coach, there are teams willing to uh, give you that opportunity year in, year out. So we'll see where this goes. I do think Harbaugh doesn't leave Michigan until or unless he wins a national championship at Michigan. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, there's these jobs are out there, but a lot of people are are waiting on them. And then mm-hmm. again, we keep talking about I think teams, offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators. Look at Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn just removed his name from the hat all together. He yeah. said, you know what? Like I like my gig here. Did he remove it's, it, or did he not have it? Get the gig. I don't think there's gig like, and it goes back to Ryan saying like thirty two teams, and now Ryan <laughs> correcting and saying is. It's not about 32 teams. It's about the right situation and opportunity. You, even though you're going to get paid. Look at Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff just got broke off. Like, he's paid. Like, he, he can do whatever he wants. He can have fun. Go live in Thailand. Exactly. But he had no success. He was a terrible coach in the NFL. Trying to get back in the NFL, it's going to be tough. I think guys like Dan Quinn, You last time you see him, it was in, this, uh, in the Atlanta Falcons. It was in the Super Bowl. It's 28-3. You know, him and Kyle Shanahan. I think you're trying to pick the right spots now. As black coaches, you definitely better pick the right spot. Because, you know, in the day, out tomorrow, and that's becoming with everybody. Who the hell wants to be coached one year, two years, and then get fired? Like, having that fire on your – or having, being fired on your resume, see, that's called a stain. Mm-hmm. The more you get fired, now they're like, eh, you, you weren't that good with the Cardinals. Like, eh, well, we're good on you. Right. If so, I was Harbaugh and I got a chance to coach the Broncos, I would. Yeah. yeah. I would take the Broncos job many. in a minute. That That's a yeah. good organization. Too much uncertainty here. I mean, you look at him and War Emanuel. They haven't spoken. Shoot, we're in January. We're in February. We'll be in May soon. That'll be a year. He hasn't talked to his AD in a year. He maybe not getting the exact contract he wants. Although it's been reported that he got offered 10.3 without um, uh, incentives. incentives. So 10.3 without incentives. I mean, hey, that's that's major. So you look at that. You look at this stuff with the NCAA, Burger Gate, if you want to. You just look at recruiting. There's a lot swirling around him and his relationship with Ann Arbor right now. I think that's why Denver is putting this press on him because they're like, things don't. I mean, you look at the incidents with kids up there, with wife situation. You look at Mozzie Smith. All this stuff starting to happen. Denver's like, if we keep putting the right amount of pressure, the right amount of money, I think we can pop him out the situation because there's a lot Jim Harbaugh is dealing with in Ann Arbor.